Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be looking at Google Drive. So let's just go right into it. It's this very first option. All we have to do is just Google Google Drive. <laughs> and then you guys will see personal and business. For most of you, you will select the personal one where you get 15 gigs of free storage. Now with business, it's a little bit different, but let's just go right now into go to Google Drive. Once you click there, you will go into this. So, or if you're not signed in, you will have to sign in or create right now a Gmail account in order to sign up for Google Drive. I do have a separate video showing you guys how to sign up for Gmail, create a Gmail account. So that's separate, that's a whole other video. For now, we're just gonna look at Google Drive. So at this point in time, I can go ahead and just go into my drive, which is my very first option, and just put anything in there. I'm gonna show you that in a second. However, we only have 15 gigs and you may want to buy more storage. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. In the bottom left-hand side, we're gonna see storage and then buy storage, which is our very last option. That's exactly what we're gonna do right now, buy storage. And at this point, you will get these options right here. So it does really depend how much storage you guys need. 100 gigs for some people might be way more than enough and that's only $2.79 a month, that's Canadian dollars. So US would be around maybe one or $2. And same goes with 200 gigs or we have two terabytes. If you guys need a lot more than that, well, there's more options down here below. So just click on more options and we're gonna see 10 terabytes, 20 terabytes and 30 terabytes, which even 30 terabytes for some people might not be enough. At this point in time for me, the two terabyte will be just okay. I'm just saying just okay because I have a lot of files and this is kind of pricey, but at the same time, it does make sense. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click on the two terabyte. So in order to make my purchase, I'm just gonna have to click on the price itself. So that's down here below. You see the two terabyte, just click on the price itself and then you're gonna get this message. All you guys have to do is agree. And we're gonna get a message like so. So at this point in time, if you guys don't have a MasterCard or any credit card attached to this, right now it's gonna ask you for that. If you guys already have that, then you're set to go. You guys can go ahead and just click on subscribe, which is on your bottom right-hand side. Now just to let you know, that price, that $13.99, will be billed automatically every single month until you guys actually cancel it. So we're just gonna click on subscribe, and there we go. Once you guys click on subscribe, we're gonna get this message right here. Now this is kind of like signing up for spam mail, so it does depend what you guys want, but I'm not a fan, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit no thank you. And right here, I can see my storage and how much I have in each one of these. So Google Photos, I have about 483 gigs, yep. Then I have Gmail and I have my Google Drive. So I can visit each one of these by the way, you don't need to just put all your photos at the maximum resolution right here on Google Photos. You guys can go in for the free plan as well. Also wanna mention the name up here. You guys can change that up. That's just a name that I put right now. I'm gonna change it to tech and design right away. But that's how it works. That's how you guys can sign up and that's it for this video. If you guys want to visit, again, any one of these, you guys can go ahead, visit them, and start just using your Google Drive. Just by dragging and dropping works really, really great. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.